For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Monday, July 12th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are the stories we're following at this hour. A portion of Route 142 in Vernon was closed for more than two hours early Sunday because of a traffic accident. Vermont State Police have not released any information about the crash, including whether anyone was hurt in that crash. The Vernon Fire Department says Green Mountain Power was called in to replace a utility pole. Two Vermont men have been arrested in Brattleboro on drug charges. Police say a July 1st motor vehicle stop in Interstate 91 North was originally for a motor vehicle violation. During the stop, police developed probable cause that the occupants were conducting illegal activity in relation to drugs. A search of the car was conducted and officers located 360 bags of fentanyl in a hidden compartment. 51-year-old Christopher Burns of Fairhaven and 25-year-old William Colmab of Winhall were released on conditions until an August arraignment. Child care providers in New Hampshire will soon get some help in the form of federal pandemic recovery funds. Starting today, licensed and enrolled licensed exempt child care providers in New Hampshire are eligible for grants funded by the American Rescue Plan Act. The money is intended to help the child care industry recover from the pandemic's economic fallout and to ensure that parents have options when they return to work. Senator Bernie Sanders says he's been meeting with Vermonters in Washington, Franklin, Orange, and Chittenden counties, or rather Chittenden counties in recent weeks. This was to discuss the budget reconciliation bill, which will determine the investments the federal government makes over the next decade. A newsletter from Sanders says he also had the chance to play some ball with some young Vermonters who are attending summer programs, which are funded by the American Rescue Plan Act. There are currently no visits by the senator scheduled in Wyndham or Bennington counties. Vermont's Fish and Wildlife Department says it is possible to compost in your backyard without attracting bears. State biologist Forrest Hammond says homeowners should use three parts yard waste to one part of kitchen scraps, vegetables, and small amounts of fruits. Meat scraps should never be used for backyard composting. Enclose your composter with electric fencing or compost in a hard, durable container with a lid that will be challenging for a bear to open. WTSA Sports, Ronald Torres had a three-run homer for the Phillies in their 5-4 win over Boston on Sunday. Jose Altuve had a big homer for the Astros and their 8-7 win over the Yankees. Both teams head to the All-Star break with the Red Sox holding a one-and-a-half game lead over Tampa Bay in the American League East. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Monday, July 12th, my name is Ian Kelly.